The AdWords Editor is a free tool that you can download and use to help manage your account. It can help you save time, manage more complex accounts, and collaborate with others in your management workflow. Let's take a look at how to use the AdWords Editor and some of its most useful features. First off, you'll need to install it, and the easiest way to do that is to open up a browser and go to google.com slash adwords slash editor. This will direct you to the right place, and all you have to do is click the big blue button in the top right, making sure that either Windows or Mac is selected depending on your operating system. Go through the installation instructions, and when you're done, open up the AdWords editor. Click on File, Open Account, and then click the Add Account button. Next, you'll have to log in with the email address and password that you use to access AdWords. Now, you can choose to download all the campaigns in this account or just select the ones you want to work with. You'll then see the progress of the download, and once it's complete, you'll see it in the tree view over on the left-hand side. Navigating through the AdWords editor is pretty straightforward, but some things are different than the online interface. The tree view to the left should look very familiar to you. You can expand and collapse campaigns and drill into ad groups just like you do online. Across the top, you've got your tabs, which you can use to select whatever you want to work with. You can see ad groups, keywords, placements, ads, audiences, and extensions, just like when you're in the main campaigns tab of the online interface. You've still got columns of data here, and you can use the icon at the far right side to change what metrics you're looking at. Note that you can also just drag column headers around to order them. Unlike the online interface, here you've got toolbars. The top one is reserved for account level activities, like downloading, uploading, or checking changes, as well as the option to download all the performance statistics. You should get in the habit of clicking that Get Recent Changes button every time you work in here to make sure that you are synced up to the live account. The toolbars under the tabs will change depending on what tab you've selected, and we'll go over some of the most useful in this video. The main area of the screen is where you'll do all of your work. If you want to edit whatever you're looking at, just highlight the row and you can see all the options appear below. When you make a change, you get a purple triangle icon that shows up next to the row where you made your change, and whatever you changed gets bolded. And one of the great features of the editor is that you can add comments at any time. When you do, a little pin will appear next to that row so you can quickly refer back to the notes about whatever you did. I like to add my initials as well as a date to make it very easy for me to see when and who made changes. This is especially useful when we start looking at the collaboration features of this tool. Most of the things that you can do in the online interface you can also do here. If you wanted to add a new keyword, for example, you can just click on the Add Keyword button and type it in. You'll see an error icon pop up in the row if there are any problems, and it goes away when you fix them. And you'll also see the purple plus sign signifying that you've added something. But all this stuff isn't the exciting part, and I'm not going to spend much time on this. You can play around with this interface and get comfortable on your own. Let's talk about the things that you can't do in the online interface that make AdWords Editor especially useful. First, let's talk about bulk changes. Bulk changes are a tremendous time saver, and you can change things like bids, keyword match types, destination URLs, and much more for multiple ads and keywords all at one time. Let's run through an example. We'll select one of our ad groups from the editor tree, and then the keyword tab to see all the keywords in that ad group. Now, we can make all kinds of different types of bulk changes to these keywords. First, let's select them all, either using the Edit menu at the top of the screen, or by right-clicking on any keyword and choosing Select All. Now, with all the keywords selected, any changes we make in the Editing panel below will apply to everything that we have selected. For example, we can change all the keywords from Broad to Exact Match Type. Or, we could pause them all at the same time. Bulk changes like this can be made to any of the data in your account, not just the keywords that we looked at in this example. Another editing feature worth talking about is the ability to copy and move things around between campaigns, ad groups, and even accounts. This can be a real time saver when splitting ad groups to improve click-through rate and quality score, or taking a well-performing campaign on the search network and duplicating it to set up for the Google Display network. There are two ways that you can copy and move data with the AdWords editor. 
First is a basic copy and paste that you're probably already familiar with from other programs. Let's take a search campaign and copy it so that we can set it up as a display network campaign as well. First, we select the campaign in the account tree and then select the campaigns tab on the main screen so that the campaign we want to copy is highlighted. Now, it's just a matter of right clicking on the campaign name and selecting copy. Just paste it back into the account, right clicking on the account name at the top of the account tree and selecting paste so that we'll have a copy of the entire campaign. We can also move items around in our account with a simple drag and drop. You can use this feature with ad groups, ads, keywords, and just about any other component of your account. Let's take a look at how you would move a keyword from one ad group to another. Select the ad group that contains the keyword we're going to move in the account tree on the left, and then click on the Keywords tab. Then click on the keyword and simply drag it over to the new ad group in the account tree. In this case, we'll place lemon olive oil in the flavored olive oils ad group. We can see it's been crossed out here, and if we go to our flavored olive oils ad group, it's been added. And while we're working with keywords, let me show you two other tools that I like to use in the AdWords editor. The first is the Find Duplicate Keywords tool, and this is a quick way to identify where you might be bidding on the same term in different ad groups, potentially competing with yourself and making it more difficult to manage that keyword. Just click on the Tools menu and select the Find Duplicate Keywords tool. Then select the options that make sense for you. I like to keep the strict word order, make sure that duplicates have the same match type, and search across all of my campaigns. Now, you'll see a nice list of your duplicates, all grouped together, and you can even do mass selections by cost per click, quality score, or other metrics. This, combined with the editing in bulk, makes it easy to clean these up across your entire account. The second keyword tool that I like to use is the Keyword Grouper, and this can be especially useful in breaking up ad groups into smaller, more relevant themes. Under the Tools menu, select the Keyword Grouper tool and then tell it which ad group you want to look at. For this example, I'm going to look at the Flavor Olive Oils ad group. Click on Generate Common Terms and then click Next. Here, you can see that it split up our keywords and grouped them by common themes. And we're only one click away from having all of these new ad groups created for us. Once we do this, we'll want to go back in and create new ads that go along with our new, tighter themes. But that was a lot faster than trying to do these one at a time in the online interface. The last two things I want to talk about in this video are the advanced search features in the AdWords editor and the collaboration features. To get to Advanced Search, you'll just select Create or Set Custom View from the View dropdown at the top of the screen. You can tell the search tool where to search in a particular campaign or ad group, or leave this first section blank to search the entire account. Then, you can set the criteria to run the search on. There's a long list of fields that you can search through, everything from keyword to ad headline to destination URL or even quality score. Select one of these and then determine how you want to match your search contains, equal to, greater than, and things like that. Finally, enter your search query, and if you have more search criteria, just click on the Add link. You can narrow things down even further by checking off certain match types or status options, and then, to top it off, you can also select the performance statistics you want your search to match. So, to quickly find all of our keywords that include the word organic, and have a quality score of at least a 5, and have an average CPC of less than $2, we can do a search like this. Now, if we wanted to copy and paste these into a new ad group focusing on organic olive oil, we can do that very quickly. And we can clean up our duplicates and configure our ads and bids in a matter of minutes. The last topic that we'll touch on here is collaboration. There are basically four steps to this whole process. First, you'll make your changes in the editor, and I really encourage you to use that comments field when you do. 
Second, you'll share those changes with others so that they can see what you've done. Third is the review process, and this can also include adding more comments and more changes. The final step is to post the changes back to the live account once everyone is given their approval. Here's how it works. We've been in this account making changes, and now we want to push them live. But before we do, I need to get my boss's approval. So, from the File menu, I'll select Export Changes for Sharing, and then I'll select just how much of my account I want to share. We'll save this off to my computer, and then I'll send it over to my boss. When my boss gets the file, all they have to do is open up their AdWords editor, and then choose Import Account Snapshot from the File menu. Now, my boss can see all the proposed changes highlighted in green and if there's any comments, that red pushpin icon will show up too. They can review my changes one by one, read my comments, and then choose to reject my changes, accept them, or make changes of their own and add their own comments. If my boss likes everything that I've done, then it's just a matter of accepting my changes and posting them back to the live account. If not, all my boss has to do is export another AES file and then send it back to me and I can begin my review process. There's a lot more to the AdWords editor than we've looked at here, and I really encourage you to download and explore this tool further. But these are some of the most useful features that save you time and make the time you spend managing your AdWords account much more efficient.